Uh, welcome everybody to interviews with experts here with Bold Statement Marketing, and I'm talking to a guy who I've known for years and years. We go back. In fact, we've traveled the world together. It's it's been kind of neat meeting people from around the world as I've done my direct selling activities and building teams and all this kind of stuff. And here's a guy who crossed my path. Oh, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, and he could uh, fill us in on the story a little bit uh, more because I've, I've got uh, a million things going on. Can't remember all the details, but uh, Frank Atkins, originally from South Africa, is a guy who's been tremendously successful in uh, both more traditional kinds of home-based business and also what's known as high-ticket or top-tier direct sales. So uh, he's got some real interesting pr uh, perspectives and some things that I, I think you'll find very profitable as we sort of pick his brain here today. Mr. Frank Atkins, welcome to the interview, sir. How are you? I'm real good, John. I'm real good. It's nice to be talking to you again after all this time. And it's funny how the memory kind of blurs because I was thinking about it. It's actually closer to 10 years than eight. So wow. it will be 10 years in this coming year since we uh, bumped into each other. So that's... Uh, yeah, you know, a decade has gone by and lots of things have changed and, you know, it's been interesting. Yeah, yeah, time flies. Lots of things have changed, Frank, and uh, maybe you can, uh, for, for the benefit of our viewers who may not have met you before, tell us a little bit about uh, your experience with home business and some of the key points that, uh, that stuck with you, things that are relevant for you still today. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's been um, actually a very long journey, you know, we don't have to go into the exact details of how long, but let's just say it's... Uh, started back in 1978. So, you know, in those days, it wasn't a question of generating leads and that, that kind of thing. Nobody had any perception about that. So, you know, it was a, a journey that involved a lot of uh, pain, and, you know, finding out what works and what doesn't work. And it all culminated in me being able to move to the U.S. Uh, I came here in 1998. And I actually came here because I was involved in the industry, because it gave me the the opportunity to be able to move into this magnificent country and have a way of generating income. You know, I'm not one of these specially gifted people with a Ivy League quality education. You know, I had no education other than what I gleaned on the, the streets of London and Johannesburg when I was growing up. So, you know, I had to have something that would give me an income. Network marketing did that for me, the home-based business industry. So, you know, the real stuff started to happen when I got here. And then so, you know, not by 98, as you probably recall yourself, we'd already had the arrival of the Internet. And I've been dabbling in it for a few years. And to say it was a game changer, I guess, was the understatement of the century. I mean, it just totally revolutionized the way that we do everything in the business. Um, you know, and of course, we dabbled around the edges of it and kind of combined it with uh, the more traditional stuff that we were doing. And I think that became uh, an area where there's the possibility for a kind of misdirection for some people, because what I saw a lot of people doing was totally abandoning everything that they'd learned before, because now everything had to be about the Internet. And it was the only way to you know, generate prospects and that kind of stuff. And so, you know, over the years now, I've seen people have an epiphany. Well, you know, maybe some of the other things we used to do, like direct mail and that kind of thing, also have their place. And now you're seeing almost this hybrid model that brings the best of every type of marketing strategy. Um, you know, and I could go on answering this question for, for an hour, which I won't do. But, you know, to come full circle, here I am, like, I don't know, what is it now, 15 years since I moved to the USA, and I'm at a place where I'm realizing that we're about to break through a whole new horizon now, you know, that because there's a, a new mindset that is necessary today to succeed in this industry, and more importantly, to sustain your success, you know, and that's what's getting me excited about now. I mean, uh, I saw a video you made about people losing their mojo, you know, that really got me fired up because I realized that, uh, you know, I'd almost forgotten that my mojo existed uh, to, to a degree because I had this missing piece. And what I've discovered in the last several weeks in particular is where the missing piece is. And that's really, really got me fired up again. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the future. Well, me too, because, you know, you mentioned you, you actually got your start as a home business entrepreneur in 1978. Now, you know how old I was in 1978? 
I, I was I was eight. I was eight. I was watching Sesame Street episodes. Okay, so and now you also mentioned London. I didn't know that you had originally uh, come from London. I always knew as you as the guy from Joburg and all this. You actually grew up in London, is that correct? Yeah, I was born in London where they all talk like that, mate, and make commercials for people selling car insurance. You see, but I never got that gig. So now I had to refine my accent a little bit. And uh, so you're looking puzzled. You don't even know about the Geico Gecko. That, the little green thing that walks around people's TV screens. Yeah, yeah, I've, so, I've seen something it. Something like our endurance. Yeah. Did you did you inspire that character? Was that based uh, on something probably. of yours? <laughs> <laughs> probably, but I didn't get the uh, the multi million dollar gig of doing the voiceovers. I should have put my put my foot in there. That would have been good. Yeah. Wow. So so here you are, all these years later. And you've got, um, you mentioned this, you know, Mojo video that I put out a few weeks back, which for me was was sort of um, a revelation, you know, looking at uh, what's working now. Uh, like you, I've got old school experience. In other words, belly to belly sales, um, developing communication skills for myself and the people that I work with, and, you know, really developing competence, you know, not just like we see so many times, especially on the web, magical systems and, you know, do nothing and get rich. And, and you and I both know, because we've been around enough, that, that that kind of stuff, it really doesn't strengthen people and it quite often leads them astray. And so what we're seeing now, and you can certainly talk uh, more about this, is uh, sort of the combination of old school principles, because, I mean, let's face it, people still buy from people, right? We Let's say we're doing Internet marketing. Okay, well, who are we marketing to? Well, well, it's people on the other side of that website, on the other side of that email. So we've got old school ideology meeting new school technology, which I think these days is still pretty fragmented with all the social media, all the possibilities. Tell me, what is it that, uh, that's got you, that's got your mojo back? What's going on for you in that area? Well, you know, the main thing is this realization that Although we were real good at what we did and still are in terms of the old school skills that we had, that you know that there is this new paradigm that's available if you're willing to adopt it, and there is this new methodology if you're willing to make the change that gives people the ability to get the success, the kind of success that we both got in the past, but without necessarily having to do the massive volumes of work that we used to have to do to make that happen. Now, now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to perpetrate one of these, you know, do nothing, get rich scenarios, because that definitely isn't it. Is it, your time and attention is put in different areas. Now, but I heard someone sum it up actually yesterday in a way that resonated with me when he was talking about the fact that um, when he first looked at, um, at a company that you and I are familiar with that, um, you know, is using these, these new methodologies and he saw the different price points of their products, he was actually resistant to what at the time was one of the higher price points because he had no perception that anybody would actually buy that product unless he was on the phone with them, arm round the shoulder, big in-depth explanation, making them feel good about their decision. And he's thought, well, you know, that's what I'm doing anyway. And that's what I'm already swamped with me with my existing business. Why would I want to add even more work to my plate? And yet what he discovered when he saw the, the system actually unfolding was that people will make these decisions without you sitting there holding their hand to make them because we've now reached what I guess um, informed people today would call the tipping point in the way that people make decisions under the new, the new dispensation. And what I mean by that is people will now make decisions very often quite considerable financial decisions on the information that's delivered to them over the internet mm. because they've become used to doing it. You know, and it started off when a guy would sit there and break out in a pool of sweat as he was going to press the button on his mouse to order a book off of Amazon that was going to cost $10, you know, and then spend the next two weeks fretting about, or fretting, should I say, about whether it was actually going to arrive. You know, and over the years, that has now morphed into the point where you've got people spending thousands and thousands of dollars at the click of a mouse over the Internet. You know, with, now, with that being the case, what you and I are now doing in this, this, new, um, this new arena of thought not only makes it possible for us to make the kind of money that we aspire to making, but, and here's the really exciting part, 
because this is the part that I used to struggle with so much. It brings that possibility into the realms of many, many people that previously would not find themselves able to generate income from a business, uh, from a home-based business, because they didn't see that they had the people skills to sit there and put their arms around the person, give them the explanation that was going to make them feel good enough about buying something. So now we're taking that, that necessity out of the equation for them. So that if they learn, if they're prepared to learn what is behind this marketing breakthrough, if you will, they can really aspire to have the success. And it's getting me, you know, it's getting my mojo back and getting me revved up again because now I can see that I can take something out there to people that they are going to be able to run with and succeed with and change their lives with. And that may sound like a dramatic statement, but in the, you know, in the economic environment that we live in, People's lives need changing because they're all scared. They're all dependent on jobs and stuff like that, you know. And they they're looking for an alternative, and we now have it. So I'm fired up. Yeah, that, you know what, Frank? And let's because uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about Empower Network, right? That's what we're talking about here. Oh, a cat's out of the bag. Yeah, a cat's <laughs> out of the bag. I mean, if, if people don't know what Empower Network is, obviously contact Frank and he'll show you. But uh, what these guys have done, and it's a very strange looking package to me, again, being a bit more traditional. Okay, when I first saw it, I was like, are you, are you kidding me? Like, is this for real? And I guess a lot of people have that question when it comes to things that are offered online. You know, is this for real? It's a question that goes through a lot of people's minds because there is a bit of skepticism and, and just wonder because a lot of people don't know what's real. I mean, they watch reality TV these days and most of that stuff isn't real, right? It's scripted. So Here's what we've got with this. We've got what what works in terms of sales and selling, okay, and, and providing value for people and exchanging that value for money. Yes, okay, that's how we prosper in business. And we've got that meeting modern methods that take a lot of the variables of the individual who may or may not be able to sell. Maybe you can, maybe I can. Certainly we've made lots of money in home-based business, but how about all those other people that are looking for a leg up or, or some way to bridge that gap? So they can now, and not, not just talking about Empower Network specifically, but, but using those methods that are taught through Empower Network to sell whatever they want. I know, and you know, uh, my wife is working with another group out of the United States. Uh, it really has nothing to do with internet marketing, and yet here's this, this Empower group that's, uh, empowering, literally empowering her to have new methods to sell that. That's really cool because now we can have what everybody I think really wants, multiple streams of income and things that, that help each other. You know, the word would be symbiotically, right? Symbiotically uh, opportunities that can help each other that are not antagonistic, but symbiotic. And so when I look at that, and, and, you know, the whole idea that you keep saying you got your mojo back. By the way, I've never heard the word mojo before except from Austin Powers, who was British, right, the character, and a girl from, uh, from Stratford-upon-Avon, England. So that any Americans who don't know what mojo is, here's my definition of mojo. It's, it's enthusiasm and self-confidence. It's feeling like you're 10 feet tall and bulletproof, like you can, you can succeed. Okay, and that... That is huge because I think with that one ingredient, whether we're talking about getting that from just from within because you, you feel good about yourself, you've maybe studied some good personal growth stuff, you're reading good books, think and grow rich, whatever, or you're getting that from realizing, right, and having like a cognition or an awakening that, uh, wow, I really can do marketing. I've got something like Empower Network. Well, there's nothing like Empower Network. I've specifically got Empower Network and guys like Frank and John and Dave and Dave and Tony and all these other people that I can, uh, I, I feel like I can succeed once again. That's huge. Okay, when you got that, what can't you accomplish? Because I think that's the biggest ingredient. I know it's the biggest ingredient in, in my success, having that, that physiology. Frank, has that been your uh, situation as well? Have you seen that as an important factor? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the, you, the point that we keep hitting home on is the fact that regardless of whether a person thinks they're looking for Empower Network because, say, they've already had another business or they didn't succeed in, in all the other businesses they tried and now they're reluctant to try again, you know, when you really get down to the essence of, what their challenge, what was their biggest challenge? You know, it usually comes out straight away. Okay, well, what are you doing? And here's the important question. Where am I going to get the leads from? Uh, where am I 
get people. How do I get leads? How do I get leads? A million times. And that's what they come up with every time. So, you know, when I really, really looked at Empowered, empower network look into it instead of looking past it instead of being a prideful pompous ass who's looking at the screen saying well you know now we got people younger than my kids telling me how to make a lot of money what could they possibly know you know and then i just got a reality check somehow and uh, you know I, I, I thank the creator that i did that hey you know you need to start waking up and look at what's really going on out there because i had the same challenges where am I getting new prospects from, new leads from? I need to learn, and you hit it on the head earlier, you need to learn what's working today. And so when you look at that, the Empower Network business, that is their product, is the answer to that question. What's working today? And it's the most current, cutting edge, aggressive, effective stuff that you'll find anywhere. Um, it's actually a fraction of the price of what the so-called gurus out there are charging for what worked yesterday, because <laughs> I ain't going to tell you what's working today, otherwise you'll be as good as me and you won't need to buy my crap. So, you know, yeah. oh, say crap. Am I allowed to say crap on here? You can say oh, whatever it's, it's, you want. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole new environment here with, with all yeah. these young guys. They, they are what they are, as they say, and they say what they feel, and it's just wonderful to be in that place. You know, my, I shared this with you, I think, where it seems one of the, one of the most exciting phrases around the whole organization is the fact that when you really get it and you get in this business, you can become a badass. See, I've been practicing that because I, I tried it in English and it comes yeah. out as, as a bad That ass. is such a non-English thing to say. Yeah. No, it's totally non-English. Right. I mean, I'm horrified if she got a copy of this video. But no, I, think, I think I'm off of her list now. She blanked me from her YouTube account, so it really doesn't matter. But anyway, I, I digress. The, the point is we have something that everyone out there in the home-based business world or thinking about getting into the home-based business world is going to need. They're mm. going to need it. It doesn't matter what they're doing right now. Because like you say, with, with, with your beautiful wife, Shannon, you know, she's in another business. She needs people to speak to. Her people needs people to speak to. And they need the skills, the skill set to solve that problem, to have constantly new people to speak to. And if we don't know what's working now, and if we can't give people access to that, they're going to get left behind. So I see that this tool that we have now is going to exponentially increase the chances for people to come into the industry, grab their lives back into their own control and succeed. You know, and I've really looked for that for 30 years all over the world. It doesn't matter where I've lived and I've lived and run these businesses in England, in Greece, in South Africa. I've done it in Germany and now here in the United States. So all that experience has shown me that wherever you go, people have the same challenges. It doesn't matter what language they're having the challenges in. They always exist and it always boils down to the same thing. So if we can solve that piece for them, the game's over. Mm. You know, they're they're going to be in here getting control of their own lives instead of making every decision that they make based on how much things cost. You know, and... You know, I don't want to put myself on some pedestal because I've been in that situation myself. and I know exactly what it's like and I know what the other side's like and I can tell you which side of the coin's the best. So we want to help as many people as possible get to the right side of that equation by, you know, we've always talked at the rudimentary level, what's, what's selling all about? You know, I used to describe it years ago in my sales trainings that I did. It's nothing more than a transfer of enthusiasm. That's it. So hopefully people can tell I'm enthusiastic about this stuff <laughs> because I've seen it working. I've seen people that couldn't sell raffle tickets making more money in a month than most people are going to make in a couple of years. And that's because we found the people who know and have the answers. And for once... They're prepared to share them with everybody else. And that is just so refreshing and so exciting. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm getting carried away. Let me make some room for the conversation. No, you know what? That's that's huge because I had some of the same thoughts about, <clears throat> again, the, 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 the packaging or the lack of aesthetics on all this. And then I had to think, well, you know what? I'm not like the public, okay? So the, the public has a certain perception of stuff. Most of the public hasn't made millions of dollars in home-based business, right, Frank? I mean, most of the public, maybe they're just considering the idea of entrepreneurialism for the, for the first time. And, and, you know, getting off of 
uh, the, the whole train of, uh, you know, dependence on a corporate system or, or real dependence on like a public assistance or something. I mean, the, the, the um, ability or the perceived ability of the average member of the public is not necessarily, hey, you know, I can show up here and make millions. Okay. And so that, to, to bridge that gap for people, I think is really a huge thing. Now, you know, who's the messenger of that? Who cares? I've often said, because, uh, you know, I've, I've got a history of uh, all, all different kinds of cultural stuff. I was in the music business. I was a mechanic. And sometimes people have this idea in their mind of what success is supposed to look like. And I've often said, look, I don't care if the person was a mechanic or a, a rock star or a, a guy sweeping the floors or a Martian. OK, I don't care. Do they know? How to, how to make the money, how to succeed, how to do the marketing. And the big question you brought up for most people before is how to get leads. Do they know how to get leads? You take somebody and you put them into home-based business. You enroll a new member, a new associate, a new distributor, and whatever, like a network marketing deal. And the, the prospect of getting leads for them is kind of like dropping a, a piece of fruit into the blender, right? It's like, okay, great. Here's the internet. Are you ready? We're going to engage the internet now. And you drop them into the blender and bam, they explode to a million pieces because of the overwhelm. Nobody right. wants to do that. You and I both. Okay, yeah, we know how to make money. Can we help our people make money? Okay, not, not can we do it for them. That wasn't the question because obviously you can't do it for somebody. You can't want it more than the person wants it for themselves. No. But, can, but can you give a person a reliable route to, to go down, to not get overwhelmed, to at least have a shot? At success, if they only have a, you know enough mojo to, to take those steps, right? And so I think with empower, certainly it's a resounding yes. And again, that bridges into things that, that people can do completely outside of it. It truly is a generic opportunity. In fact, I was down um, not to just keep harping on empower so much, but it, obviously we're excited about it. I was down in um, San Diego about a week and a half ago, whatever it was. Uh, with about 3,000 members of Empower. And one of the, the questions that somebody who was interviewing me asked me is, is this a generic opportunity? Can people do this in a variety of other things? And, and yeah, there's over 150 different companies just in the network marketing space, over 150 different companies represented in the Empower community, learning marketing, right? Learning what works now from people that are doing it. And I was talking to one guy, Shakir, He's making a quarter million dollars a month. He's been doing online marketing, affiliate programs, and his own consulting products and all this. Quarter million a month. He just joined Empower Network a couple months ago, already making money with it, obviously. Um, so there's there's huge potential here. And with the with the opportunity that's presented there just in itself, we can see people already making 50000 a month plus just with Empower. And then add on all the other stuff they're doing. So anyway, what, what advice do you have? Let, let's get on to like general success ideas from your experience, your vast experience in home-based business, okay, seeing everything you've seen, what can you tell the newcomer, okay, not the person who already knows how to make a six-figure, multiple six or seven-figure income, the person who doesn't know anything yet, this is their first exposure to the idea of doing something entrepreneurial, and you're it, it's Frank Atkins. Give them some advice. Well, you know, and we touched on this a little bit earlier because, you know, I, I'd actually given some thought to how, how our conversation might go. And if you remember, I mentioned to you that um, should I say the thing about the magic question? And you said the magic question, what the Dickens is the magic question? So I said, well, you know, it's something that I believe that every person that's considering a business needs the answer to. Because, you know, if you look around and pull up articles online and you, you can get loads of advice on how to select a company. Um, 99 times out of 100, the advice is being written by somebody as, as he weaves it into the copy. Of course, he's showing you why you should select the company that he's got. And there's people that have various different formulas, uh, I guess it should be formulae, um, that, you know, tell you what needs to be in place. You know, this about the company and the ownership and the size and how old it is and all this kind of stuff. You know, and I believe that there's, a, there's room for all those things. But number one, if you're not passionate about doing whatever it is that you're choosing, then all those things are irrelevant because it doesn't matter how, how true they may be and how correct they may be, they're not going to help you. You've got to do something that allows you to follow your passion. So that's particularly important. So, you know, when, when you're looking around for a business, if it doesn't come into that category, then don't go with it. Don't even consider it. 
But if we get back to this issue of the magic question, my question was always this one. If I got involved in this business, whatever this business is, and the person I got involved with the next day was abducted by aliens, what is that going to do to my chance of success? And the reason that I think it's important is because too many people are very concerned about who they're getting involved with. And, you know, well, how long has he been doing it? How much money is he making? And all that kind of stuff. And look, there's some merit in getting good mentorship and coaching. Don't get me wrong. So I'm not trying to de decry that in any way. But that's what I got so um, double fired up about, if you like, with the empower situation. Because what I've seen here is not only does it not make any difference who you get involved with, but the other thing about it is this, is that we talked about lead generation and how difficult some people find that. Well, some people are able to do it. You know, even before they found Empower, they could find leads. Some people would go out and buy leads. But then guess what? They didn't do anything with them because they didn't have the skill set to be on the phone with people and that kind of stuff. So this is all lead culminating to this is if you can find a business that's going to enable you to earn money and learn the skills as you go along because you don't need to have those skill sets in place up front, that should be at least at the, if not at the top, very close to the top of your list because it's rare that you can find something where someone says to you, look, if you follow the steps that we provide for you and follow the system that we put in place for you, not only will it teach you how to generate leads, but also you won't even have to phone the leads in order to get some success. In fact, we don't even encourage you to phone them. You know, now, you and I both come from an environment where they're going, okay, now this is the step. So you get the leads and then you've got to phone the leads and you've got to qualify the people. Well, what does that mean? Well, you've got to do this almost kind of psychoanalytic conversation and you are going to decide whether that person's worthy of your time. I am? Or how do I do that? Well, because you're going to ask them questions. You're going to posture yourself on the phone in such a way that you can actually make the other person impressed by how knowledgeable you are and how confident you are in your own ability. Uh, but what you're really looking to do is you're looking for an opportunity to disqualify this person because you don't want to end up wasting your time with them. And, you know, I mean, we're pretty good at teaching people this stuff and it can be highly effective. But guess what? 99% of the world's population couldn't do it if their life depended on it. So that's why it really minimizes people's chance of success. So now we have a situation where they don't have to do that. So now that I know that it exists, you know, my advice maybe is going to sound a little crass because it's going to point them in the direction of, making their first choice to get involved with Empower Network because the only thing I've ever seen where people making money without doing all the things that I always believed were 100% necessary to be able to make money. So I've had to have a major paradigm shift and I've had to go through a painful experience to come to that revelation. Well, guess what? Anyone who's seeing this video who's not in a business, who's looking for a business, you don't have to go through that pain. You don't have to experience all that. You can just move into the new paradigm and start making money and say, well, I don't know what all those old guys were complaining about. You know, you have to do this, you have to do that. I've got in here, just followed a few simple instructions and my bank account's filling up. It can happen for you. So my advice is accept the simplicity of something for what it is. Don't overanalyze it. Don't necessarily believe someone who's coming with a contrary opinion just because that's the way they always did it. Because they're going to be old school has-beens um, in no time whatsoever. So, you know, mm. maybe a bit of a longer answer than you were looking for. But I just think it's so pivotally important that people understand that there are various ways to the success. But there are some ways that are much more simple and much more universally available um, than others. You know, and we certainly seem to have hit upon it here. You know, and I take no credit for creating it because I can't. Um, wish I could. But <laughs> it's hit and it's open and available for those who are willing to just step forward and say, hey, well, how about me? Yeah, and all you've got to do is follow the system that's made available for you. It's beautiful. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's really great. It's actually inspiring me just to hear it. You know, I, I think the height of mastery is simplicity. And anybody can make something more complicated, right? But is that what people really want? Certainly, no. Okay, people want something that's doable, that's simple, that they can see realistically, 
they've got a good shot at success. And then, of course, when they start actually seeing the success, then, you know, as you would say, the cat's out of the bag. Frank, thank you for, for your insights here on this. Are there any closing comments, anything else you'd like to say uh, before people go off and, and hopefully contact you and, and get started with you with the, uh, the Empower Network? Yeah, well, I guess my closing comment would be this, is that, you know, I remember an inscription that my dad wrote in my, um, in my dictionary when I went to school in, in London, you know, and he stole it from someone else. So it's actually uh, a, a kind of uh, his summation of something that he got from Rudyard Kipling, which I subsequently decide, discovered that he must have got it out of the scriptures at some point. But it went a bit like this. It said, uh, whatsoever you, you may find to do, do it with all your might. For there is nothing so lost as a lost opportunity. And so what I'm going to encourage everyone to think about is, you know, whether you end up doing Empower Network or, you know, it makes really no difference to John and I because we're going to make a boatload of money anyway. But it could make a huge difference to you. And not only that, it could make a huge difference to the people that you learn how to reach out to. Because, you know, we're in a, we're in a hurting world. And the biggest reason that it's hurting for most people is because they're suffering, suffering economic challenges. They're suffering financial hardships. And that's true all over this planet. And we can do something about it. And that may sound like a bold statement, not trying to uh, crib the name of, of one of John's organizations here, but it is a bold statement. You know, We can do something about it. So I, rather than advise you or anything, I invite you to decide to be part of the part of the solution and no longer part of the problem and again yes that's a hackneyed cliche but i wish more people would actually adopt the reality behind it and we can get out there and do something about it so whether you're a, a spiritual person or not i got news for you you are a spiritual being enjoying a temporary human experience and what we do here on this earth is going to extend for more years than we have any perception of even trying to imagine. So why not make a difference? Why not make your stamp on this world by just picking up something, setting aside your preconditioning and the things your mother told you, oh, you don't want to get involved in one of those things, and the things you hear at work. Or, you, you know, Just look around. As I said, we've got people younger than my kids here becoming multimillionaires because they're fearless. And because they want to make a difference. And that enables guys like myself that have been around the block for a while to say, okay, we'll follow them now. You know, they, they, they got the new thinking, but more importantly, they're getting the new results and the ones that they can verify and the ones that can change people's lives. Come with us. Change your life. Change the lives of others. And that should just about wrap it up, I think. Hmm. Frank, thank you. It's been a pleasure sure. being here with you. And... I will see everybody on another episode of Interviews with Experts here with Bold Statement Marketing. Have a great day. You totally deserve it. And go after the success that you know you desire. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.